Hey, Dan from Motion Stacks, and I'm going to show you how to combine the wiggle transform and the repeater tools to make some interesting effects. So we'll start off by making a tree. We'll put a circle in the center of the composition and we'll add a repeater to it. It'll automatically bring it horizontally, but if we go down to the transform options, take off the horizontal and add a vertical to it. We then want to play with the scale of this, bring it down to about 80 and that will give you a general tree shape and we want to make a trunk, we'll take the fill out, add a stroke and then put a trunk there. I'm going to use a tool called the butt capper, if you go to the motion stacks blog there's a link to this script and some other scripts that you might find helpful but basically you just click and it changes the cap and the join settings on the stroke. Normally you'd have to go down into the contents, shape, stroke and then here are the settings but that can be tedious if you're doing it for multiple different strokes and stuff so I find this tool really helpful. Um, and there we have a tree. So if we just rename this tree um, it's pretty symmetrical which might be what you want but if you want a bit of variation we can add a, a wiggle transform to this and then we'll go down into these settings take off the wiggles per second because we don't want it to move we just want to affect the design of it go down into the transform settings and then here you can adjust the position if we adjust the horizontal position you can see that it affects this and we'll mess with the scale a little bit um, it might not look like it's done much but if you go onto the random seed and just flick through you can see that it changes quite dramatically each time and you can just find one that you like when you're happy with it. Um, it'll just make it look a little bit more organic, um, a little bit better than just being your normal symmetrical tree. So I quite like the look of that one and we'll leave it at that. I can show you another way we can apply these same techniques. So if we come and we make a little circle we'll try and make a crowd so we'll make one of the faces here just a little circle and then if we add the repeater to this again it will do it horizontally we'll just bring down the amount of distance between the two points and we'll put the copies up so I think that looks alright we'll add another repeater to this and that will do the vertical copies so we'll take off the horizontal add a vertical crank the copies up and there you have a crowd so if this was in your design and you wanted it to look organic again uh, this looks pretty boring so we'll add a wiggle transform to this you have to make sure that it's underneath the repeaters and then take off the wiggles per second again go down into the transform and just mess around with the position and the scale so if we mess around with the vertical position you'll see that they'll jump around like that change the scale a little bit because not everyone will have the same size head um, and then you can see it looks a little bit more organic already if we change the horizontal position as well um, and then again if you go through the random seed and just see what you like if you animate the random seed it can look like the crowd is pretty jittery I'd suggest putting the the differences between the scale down quite low so the jitters are not as noticeable but yeah you can animate that and the crowd will look like it's moving but as far as that goes we've made a pretty organic looking crowd really simply in no time at all and that's how powerful the wiggle transform and the repeater can be together